Hi, I'm Chip Rome with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you're watching In the Know. For this episode, we are in Scottdale's Gazebo Park in downtown Scottdale, and joining me is Tom Siegel. Hello, Tom. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh, good afternoon. I'm doing well. And Tom, you're busy this summer. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so he is the head chair for the upcoming festival. You want to talk about the festival, Tom? Yes. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're getting ready for the 50th anniversary, hard to believe, 50th anniversary of the Scottdale Fall Festival here. We'll be in Gazebo Park in downtown Scottsdale, September 20th through the 22nd. Wow. And so 50 years of festivals, and it started, I guess, with the 100th anniversary. It did. It did. A group of citizens got together, actually in this same park, and decided to hold a celebration for the 100th anniversary of the town, which turned into the Coal and Coke Heritage Festival. I remember that. Changed names a couple more times before it landed on the Scottsdale Fall Festival. Yeah. So it starts September 20th. That's a Friday and then it runs through Sunday, September 22nd. Yes, and we are jammed packed with, with events and activities. This is going to be the largest festival that I've ever been a part of. Wow. Yeah. Admission is free, entertainment is free. Yeah, um, looking, at, there'll be vendors and food, food vendors and craft vendors down here alike um, that'll be chargeable, but most of the activities here the day of will be free for everybody. So in this area we're standing in, you have hay bells here, and some people bring their own chairs. And it's full of people because there's entertainment on that stage behind us. Yeah, um, this park will be packed this year. Yeah. Um, looking forward to trans transforming the park into the Scottsdale Fall Festival. Um, and, and where we're standing will be the highlight of it, the, yeah. uh, the gem. So in 2023, you kicked off the 150th anniversary of Scottdale with this event. And in 2024, you're going to close out that celebration. That's correct. That's correct. And that's why this festival will be the largest that we've ever put on. We have multiple activities happening at once to the point where we're, uh, we're, we're doing a different schedule chart this year. Yeah because there will be overlap. Um, hope everybody gets a chance to see everything, um, but it, it's going to be a jam-packed festival. If you don't mind, and it's way more than we could, we'd have an hour show if we talked about <laughs> everything, and they don't give us an hour. So we will, we'll talk about some of the highlights, things that people will find here. Yeah, so from an entertainment perspective, we're excited to have Pure Gold back on the stage here Saturday along with some other really top-notch bands that we're looking forward to. I don't want to spoil anything just yet, but uh, stay tuned to our Facebook page and our website for some of those larger bands. And the Facebook is Scott Del Fall Festival? Scott Del Fall Festival, and then our website is scottdalefallfestival.org. And you have a magazine you put out too, and how do people find that? Yeah, so um, we're actually going to print here in a couple days with the magazine. It will be in downtown Scottdale businesses about a week before the festival. Okay. Um, so as you're in downtown, stop by one of the local banks or one of the local businesses, and they'll, uh, they'll give you a copy. So there's a lot of information in there. There's a ton, um, 32 pages of jam-packed information of what we're gonna be doing over these three days. Yeah, so you have lots of food vendors. I, I That's one of my highlights is finding food to eat. Yeah, um, food vendors, we've got a really good crowd um, coming back from last year. Mm -hmm. uh, J&K's, Gyros will be back, Courtyard Catering will be here, and a couple new ones that are coming in this year that I uh, hope everybody will stick around and, and stop in and visit. Yeah. Car show happens on Saturday, I believe? Car show's actually on Sunday. Sunday, okay. Um, we do that down in the Rite Aid parking lot. We'll bring everybody together. And we do have the monster truck back this year. Okay. They'll be doing their uh, their crush here at 2 o'clock, thanks to Mongel Tire and Riger Auto Sales. Yeah, excellent. How about there's something new? You're going to do a new location or add a location. So we've got a couple big things coming in this year. One of which is to celebrate the town's 105th anniversary. Um, this is from the Scottsdale Fall Festival to the community of Scottsdale, and that is the Wild World of Animals will be here for nine shows over three days. They are bringing their largest event that they have into the park. Um, they'll show up around Friday for a matinee with the kids, okay. and then we will start our nine shows Friday running clean through Sunday in Lauk's Park. Now, okay. it's not here in this park. Okay. It's not too far away. Um, just walk down Spring Street and you'll run right into Lauk's Park, which is where that event will be. That's where the magazine is nice because it actually has a map, shows locations of where things are going to happen. And, it does. Yeah. It does. And times, I mean, like I said, it, it, the scheduling is a little goofy this year. Um, we've had to do some things that we've not normally done. 
um, just so that we can get everything in. Because on of the size of it. It is, yeah. it is. Now, that's one of the big surprises that we have this year. The other one is the family area, okay. sponsored by Dollar Bank. So Dollar Bank came to the festival and said, hey, we want to create an area for families. We want to create a new area that you've not done before, and we want to help, we want to help bring that to light. So from the visions of Dollar Bank and the Scottsdale Fall Festival, we bring the Scottsdale um, family area here, just down past the gazebo, okay. um, down by Dollar Bank in their parking lot. It's a good lot. place for it. It, it is, <laughs> it is. It's an area that we haven't used before, um, it was free real estate that we could expand to, so we'll have all kinds of activities down there. I don't want to release too much. Right. Um, that'll come out on our Facebook page as well. But I will tell you, Terror on 3rd will be here Friday for a sneak preview of what happens on October 31st. Okay, that sounds good. Now, Tom, as I mentioned, you're the chair, the head chair for this event, and you have a whole committee that works with you. I just want to talk about that group a little bit. Sure. Yeah, and it, it takes an army to put this festival on, and we've got a great group of people with us. Um, some of the key members of the committee, uh, Tony Sander does all of the food booth and crafts. Um, PJ Spires handles all of the events that are going to be happening here in the park. And Rick Thomas is back with us this year to do all of the entertainment um, those are kind of the masterminds behind the larger events, but there are many more here on the committee that, that come to pull this okay. together. You folks have worked together for years doing this, and that's probably what helps make it successful. It is, but we've got two new committee members that have come in this year that are really helping out in, a, in big ways, giving us a, a slightly different way of looking at the festival. Yeah. The sponsors are very important to this. You mentioned some as you went along, but they allow you to do a lot of things that you couldn't do, of course. They do, they do. Um, from Armstrong, who donates to help us with the entertainment on the main stage, Penline, who helps us with the main stage entertainment, and um, Somerset Trust Company, who sponsors our children's area okay. over by their bank here during the festival. So you have a children's area and you have a family area. That's wonderful. We do, we do, and then we also have a country stage. Okay. So returning by popular demand, at the top of Spring Street, we will have the country stage coming in. Um, stage courtesy of Scottsdale Lumber. They let us borrow their vehicle to use. Okay. And then uh, part-time cowboy will be back on Saturday and the cash show will be here on Friday. Great. Sounds like a full three days. We're gonna be tired by the end of it, yeah. but I really <laughs> hope the town enjoys this. I hope they come out here um, one or all three days because it's going to look like a different festival each day. Yeah, great. If you don't mind, Tom, wrap us up here with the dates again. Yeah, so we will be here in Gazebo Park in downtown Scottsdale, September 20th through the 22nd. Really hope to see everybody here on this large event, um, really to celebrate the town and, and the birthday that we're going through. Yeah, 150 years, a lot of years. 150 years is a lot of years. You've had a great celebration here too, all year long. We have, we have. The 150th committee has been here in Scottsdale. Um, they've partnered with almost every one of our, our events that have happened year round. They've created some new events for us and uh, really showcased this town in a pretty big way. Yeah. We wish you well on the event. I appreciate it and uh, hope to see him Armstrong here the day of. We'll be here. I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Thank you. You're very welcome. And now you're in the know.